So today I would like to count the number of times every letter appears in this bit of text. Now this isn't anything new or whatever, but I'm just doing this just for fun because uh, in my mind I came up with another way that someone probably already came up with, but whatever. They're gonna just uh, do it. So what I would usually do, I'm saying usually, but nah, I, I, I have practically no use for this. This is just for fun purposes, I could say. So, uh, let me just finish this. As file, text equals, just going to read the whole file. So usually, you'd want to just go like, for, for every letter in text, if that letter not in count, um, then you just want to say, you just want to initialize it to a one. Else, you just want to say count letter plus equals a one. And this should work fairly well as well. Just, yeah, just like that. We go through every letter and we get the count. And this is, though myself personally, this is just for uh, purposes of just doing it, because I wanted to. Uh, so I was like, okay, maybe there's another way. And then I was like, okay, how about we just go like, while we have text, all I want you to do is say letter is equal to text at index zero. If that letter not in count, I want you to just set it to get the count of that letter in the string. And then once you're done, I just want you to call text replace that letter with that, and so on and so forth. So I just want to see if this is uh, a terrible idea. And then we should just keep slicing that bit of text till the end. So this took about one second to run. How about, oh, wait. My bad. Yeah, should be all good now. So I just want to see how, what difference this makes. Does it make it worse? Does it make it? Because maybe calling these uh, methods here will, will slow it down, likely. But anyways, let's just see. So I comment this out. Wait, what, what did it just show? Okay, no idea what it showed. Then run it. Yeah, it's it's worse. <laughs> I wonder why it's worse. Okay, let's just see the the output for both of them though. I just make another dictionary called count two, just to make sure that they're both in sync at least. We'll just change this to count two, and then we'll just make we'll just print out the second one. Um. Yeah, they seem to both be working pretty well, unless if I've missed something. I, I know that I might be missing handling of special characters and whatnot, maybe, I don't know. But it seems to be working pretty well. Wait, E, E, where's E here? Capital letter E, 300, 300. Okay. 
uh, empty space 18,900 times. So, yeah, and also if I'm missing something, which I, I simply can't see though. Uh, but so far, they seem to work pretty much the same way. And uh, if I comment this out, and then run it again. 0 0.5 seconds. Okay. And this right here. This right here goes. Oh, <laughs> my bad. Commented out the whole thing. Okay, and this right here is way worse. Oh, all right, okay, all right. Good to know, good to know. I, and I get the feeling that this is what does it. So if possible, maybe instead of doing it like this, I could remove this and attempt to modify this like as such. It'll basically look the same like the for loop. I think this will still work the same way. So while I have text, get the letter at index zero. If that letter is not in count two, uh, initialize it to one. Else, just increment that letter count by one and then slice the text. So let's see how this goes. 3.1. And, oh, uh, still terrible. Learning, learning, learning. Okay, I, can I, oh, I'm making some mistake here, damn it. I think, I think that's it. That means I don't need this. I think that's okay now. Huh. It's basically the same. This interests me because I have no idea why it's taking longer. But that's good to know, though. Good to know. So the four. The for loop was actually doing better, even though the structure is the same. Or is it taking a bit longer because of this continuous slicing right here? Maybe. That's one of the things I can think of. But all right. Anyways, uh, if, if anyone that happens to watch this, if anyone at all, uh, I'd like to hear your thoughts on this. This was just for uh, fun purposes anyways. Just a way as to just see what, what, what would happen. But yeah, th that's pretty much it for the video nonetheless. Until the next one, peace.